Hi, it's Dia. Arteza was nice enough to send me this 72 set of watercolor colored pencils. So let's just jump right in. The colors look beautiful. They look very similar to the um, 72 set of their expert colored pencils. The colors look bright and beautiful and they are named similarly. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to review the set and I'm also gonna give away this exact set. Um, they're gonna be obviously slightly, slightly used, but I'm gonna not do too much on purpose. So you can get this set almost 100% in, intact. Now this image is from my up and coming coloring book, Everyday Magic. And I'm gonna start with space gray on this stem. And I usually start my, um, any, well, any kind of trees or branches with a gray background. I know everybody, and I used to do this too, automatically goes to brown, but it seems to work better when you start with the gray. And first blush, they feel super creamy. Now I didn't sharpen these pencils because whoever wins these, I don't know if they would want them sharpened or if they would want to use them as is. So I left most of them, I think I sharpened two throughout the video. Um, okay, then I went over the top with a few browns, some charcoal, and I didn't go super with the details. I didn't, I, I didn't go crazy, but it's hard to alter your, your style, but I had to keep reminding myself that these were watercolor and, uh, not to do too much. The pencils feel slightly softer than their expert pencils, um, but they feel very, very creamy. And what I am thinking about for later on is after I wet these pencils and first of all, see how they blend. And second of all, see if I can go back over the top of them after it's dry. So I'm gonna be coloring some branches, some leaves, that little owl and the little apple fairy. So I automatically started to color that leaf as if it was going to be finished with regular watercolor, um, I'm sorry, regular pencils. And then I had to sort of alter my thought process and go right in with the water. I wanted to see if I could take that relatively light green and see if it spread over the entire surface of the leaf, which it actually did. And it made for a really nice base color for that leaf. So right off the bat, again, I would say that they work very nice with the water. As you can see right there, it blended Every color that I used there, I think I used four different colors on that little branch and it, it left enough where I made the line, meaning I, it, it left an imprint and it left the color, but it also blended the color around and it made for a really nice watercolor effect. Yet it's slightly different because like I said, it leaves that line that you first draw. Yeah, so, so far I love these. And I'm not familiar with watercolor. It's one of the it's one of the mediums that I don't usually work with, and I actually admire anybody who knows how to use watercolor properly and can accomplish those beautiful shadows and lights. Because it's completely it's completely backwards, in my opinion, because you have to think ahead of time and leave the shadows, well, especially the lights. Um, because you really can't go over watercolors too much because they get muddy. But to me, they're terrifying. So I went right in with a darker green over the top of that lighter green, which was lime, by the way. And then I went over the top of it with, it wasn't sage, what was it? Uh, forest green. And the area was still wet. Now you can see when I go with the same color to this leaf above, on a dry area, 
it stays very vibrant. If I go back to the wet area, you can go over the top of it, but it's much more muted, sort of like a watercolor. So that being said, if you want to go over any area you can, but expect the color to be not quite diluted, but more, more muted and, you know, compensate for that. Okay, so I took that same brush and I'm going over that same color green that you see below. And you can see that you can move the product around. Now I'm going back over that area that I went over previously with the pencil and I'm gonna just spread that around. You can, there's some of the product gets left on, gets left on the brush and you can move it a bit. So part of that leaf's wet, part of that leaf is dry. And you can see where it's wet, it's softer, and where it's dry, it's more intense. So these are fun to use. Oh, the other thing, you do not need a lot of water. So the paper, I can't say it buckles, but just like any paper, you can see where you put the water for sure. But happily, like I said, you don't need too much water so it doesn't ruin the paper. Later on, I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring in a Create Space book and see what happens there. That should be interesting. That paper's really thin and uh, that'll be a fun experiment. These are also kind of cool because you can leave a bit of the pencil texture meaning you don't have to blend it completely away. So it's not quite a pencil and not quite watercolor paints. It's a hybrid and it's really cool. So I did sharpen this pencil. This is in charcoal and I waited for that area to dry and I went over the top of everything. And as you can see, you can add really fine details with these pencils, either wet or dry. I do recommend if you're going to do the fine details, wait, either wait till what you already painted is dry or um, do the details first. So for the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber. You can either subscribe to me here on YouTube. You can join my coloring gallery on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram, and it's all under Dia Lenahan. So if you type in my name, it, pretty much anywhere I'll pop up. So you can subscribe to me, you can share, you can leave me a comment, anything, anything your heart desires, basically. And plus, I would love to have you. So do any of those things, leave me a comment and let me know. And this way I can enter you in to the giveaway. Um, it's going to, what's today's date? It's the, the 20th. So it's going to end December 5th. The winner will also receive one of my coloring books of their choice from Amazon. I don't have any of the buns artist editions left right now I'm going to be waiting for the new um, the new batch to be ready and my work in progress which is everyday magic won't be ready for a little bit so anything that you find on Amazon I'll be happy to send to you you can wait if you want for either of those things also just let me know in the comments The colors are very vibrant, meaning the yellows are super yellow, the oranges are orange. It doesn't seem like anything got lost in translation from creating regular colored pencils and making them into watercolor. As you can see, these aren't even sharpened all the way. Like I said, they make lovely fine detail. 
Now that leaf, I won't go over anymore because I don't want that branch to blend. Now I'm taking this ballet slipper pink. I'm gonna just color in her dress really quickly. That's a very, very light color. And yet, it's still pigmented. I darkened up her shoes a bit with the color plum. And I'm coloring in her skin with apricot. Now what I'm doing here is outlining the perimeter of her face and going in a little darker around her bangs and her neck and her arms. To, and I'm not coloring the whole thing. As you can see, I'm leaving the areas that I want highlighted white, completely white. And then I'm going to take that same brush, which looks like it's green, but it's not. It's actually just stained. And I'm moving that pigment around. And it did pull enough of that very light color apricot into the other areas of her skin. And it looks lovely. I wanted the dress to appear gauzy and almost like fairy, fairy, not fairy wings, but like a, like a tool, like very see-through. So the areas where these little petal-like parts of the skirt would overlap would appear a little bit darker. So I'm just blending in that very light ballet slipper pink with the brush works very nice and let me see what color is that actually it's called pink macaroon now I went over there with is that lavender or periwinkle I don't remember and then I ended up changing it I I went over it later on with <coughs> excuse me spring green now for this leaf I used pear and I went in very rough, as you can see, and left tons of texture and left the rest of it white. And I wanted to see what it looked like if I could actually blend out that texture with just the brush with a little bit of water. And as you can see, it works very nicely. So these probably would be better in the hands of a watercolor expert, but they, they're really, really nice to work with. And they're fun. I took a little bit of that pear that was left on the brush and I used it on the other leaf. Now I'm taking, that's either peony or plum. And I'm just going over that overlap area. And like I said before, these colors are just as vibrant as the colors from their 72 um, expert set. The colors are also named the same. So Peony A026 in this set is also Peony in the other set. Now I'm going to take forest green and I'm going to color in half of the leaves and half of the stems and then see if I can just take that same brush with a tiny bit of water and see how that goes over. And it does spread around enough if you like a true watercolor look. I ended up going in again. Mm, I don't even remember what color I used. Let me think. Oh, I think it was absinthe, <clears throat> excuse me, absinthe green. And then for those flowers, I used, it wasn't ivory. It, um, I used lemon. And for their center, I used blood orange for her little stained glass wings I used periwinkle near her back and then I just spread the color around to the rest of the wing and I did end up at the end going over that slightly again now I made her cheeks here out of peony and give her little fleshy pink areas. So as you can see, this goes over the top of the other watercolor areas very nicely. Here's that overlap area, that little petal. 
would be over the top of the other petals. So I colored it in very lightly and then went over the top of it again with some water and it blended right in. It, there's really no buckling. Yeah, these are, these are working very, very well. Now, once again, I'm just roughly coloring in her hair with Tuscan Sun. And then I'm gonna do some low lights with cinnamon and the shadows with espresso in her hair. And then I'm gonna go over the whole thing with some water just to see how it blends and see how the colors work together. Here's the water. Oh, something I should mention also, when you do add water to these colors, the colors get more intense. It's almost like they, they blend or it, it's kind of like if you were using a Prismacolor pencil and you use one of those clear um, blending sticks, but kind of in reverse, like these get brighter, those get a little more muted. So very interesting. Oh, I'm taking lavender, adding a little bit of shadow to the side of her face, side of her neck. I'm giving her some highlights or low lights, whatever you want to call it, on her cheeks to make her face look even more round. I do want to tell you that Arteza is giving me a discount coupon, and I'm going to put the link below. In fact, I'll put all the information below. So if you want to buy this set, um, feel free to click the link below. It'll take you right to Arteza, and then you can type in my name, which is Dia Lenahan, and that'll be your coupon code, and you can get a discount. And I will get a little bit of a commission. Okay, here's where I sharpened the spring green and I went back over those leaves and stems that I had already done with forest green earlier. And I just added some detail. I did end up going over um, several things in this image after I was even done with the video. Um, and I only used these Arteza watercolor pencils I added some shadows. Even here, I'm using the charcoal to add some shadows, some depth. And sometimes I just don't put it in because it, these videos could be hours and hours long. Meaning if I didn't edit. I'm gonna take that same charcoal, slightly sharpened, and I'm gonna add some little fine details to that baby owl. And then I'm going to go in with the brush very quickly and just blend that in. It's kind of nice. It almost feels like um, you're, you're using mineral spirits, but it's just water. It's just watercolor. Oop, this is from Penelope's Garden. I wanted to take a Create Space book and see how these pencils work, first of all, on their own in a Create Space book on Create Space paper. And I have to say they feel really nice on this, on this slightly textured paper. I added three colors to this cactus, which were lime, spring green, and forest green. And then I went over the whole thing pretty quickly with that same brush with, with water, just to see how just to see how it would blend. I added some pear at the bottom and then I didn't love it and then I went over it with camel just to add some shadow at the bottom. I'm not trying to make this perfect, I just wanna see how it works. There's that forest green. I'll kick this in, you don't need to see me do this whole thing. And then go from here, take that same brush with with the water and very quickly go over the top. It blended very nicely. And once again, it made that rough colored pencil look very smooth and blended in 
a much shorter time than a regular colored pencil with a blending pencil would. Now I'm gonna take ultramarine and lavender and color in Penelope the Witch's little caftan or dress very quickly. And I left it messy on purpose because I wanted to see how blended it could get in one coat or one sweep. And I have to say, it, it once again, it worked pretty well. So I would definitely give these pencils a thumbs up. I very much enjoyed using them. I can't say that I'm an expert by any stretch at anything watercolor. So if you like that and, you're, and you want those kind of effects, I would definitely recommend these pencils. Um, I hope you subscribe to me and I hope you enter this contest because you can win this whole set of pencils and your choice of my coloring books. And I hope you all have a very happy holiday if you celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so subscribe, share, leave me a comment, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram. Any of those things will get you entered. So once again, thank you so much for being here. I love that you all watch these videos that I make. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon. Oh, one last thing. See, it didn't even go through. So it's even a better choice than I would say markers or pens or even gel pens can kind of eke through a little bit on create space paper so once again thank you so much for being here and i will see you soon don't forget to enter bye